Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis from PhoenixGenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Fry Camp. We're playing Minecraft on PlayStation 4 in my natural texture pack in my Phoenix Genesis survival world. And we had previously showed you the foyer in the nether portal room and my fishing dock outside. So let's show you another room in my main Phoenix Genesis uh, main train station. And this is crafting, potion brewing, and cooking here. Items in chests, kitchen at work area, designed by Phoenix Genesis. I like to label this train station. So anyway, this is a, this was my first work area when the house wasn't really big. I still like it because, although I do tend to work in other areas more sometimes. But I do like this because you can look outside and I, I'm growing vines. And I like the concealment of this as it's natural. I, it, the fact that I did dig into some natural stone that was here. And there's a lot of these natural stone areas in the Phoenix Genesis seed. It's kind of cool. First it was annoying, but then I was like, no, I kind of like it. Um, saves you trouble of leveling an area and you've got stone for building and smelting to um, make smooth stone if you don't use a silk touch pickaxe to get it. But anyway, these are the vines. I use some dark glass right here um, because I want it more private. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell if it's day or night, but uh, pretty much you can just uh, figure that out by if things are roaming around out there. Then I used, uh, again, the uh, redstone lamps for the ceiling. This is my kind of extravagant building, my one main building in my world, uh, although I have lots of buildings now, but I wanted to really go all out. And again, the spruce uh, logs look real nice. Dark oak would work if we have that. Uh, come on, 4J, we want our dark oak and our acacia wood. Uh, and here I just used some um, planters, some pots, and I used red mushrooms because it kind of looks like a lamp here and it picks up with the red of the um, brewing stand and the brewing stand you get in the nether and you can see my previous video on the nether portal and um, of course I got some awkward potions because that's the base so it's good to go if you want to start crafting and then I like these um, chiseled quartz blocks because they kind of pick up the white of the um, flooring and they also have a nice pattern so they I don't know they just make nice stands and here's uh, a chest of essentials for up here so a lot of coal and a lot of lava lava is an alternate uh, fuel source for my furnaces right here and we'll get to that design in a minute so just my one chest and if you, you can, if you want to check out my funny video where Oscar got to, Oscar the cat got stuck in the chest and my boyfriend Steve and I had to rescue um lose cat and get him safely he's in a um, really nice room with Ray the service dog right now in the main one of the library room so anyway back here we've got nether wart uh, for our brewing we've got some water in case something catches on fire to put it out bottles so we can um, fill up our water bottles with cauldrons we already uh, gave you some courtesy ones if you come play in my world and more coal and just some wheat seeds and a hoe and an empty bucket because we have wheat growing right here and in case we need to um, till the soil and fix it we have that there and an anvil for uh, enchanting and name tagging I've used this anvil a lot it's about to go as you use your anvil it starts getting more chips so you can see that one's kind of uh, its last leg of course always a crafting table that's the uh, essential item of Minecraft and two cauldrons which also kind of look like sinks for filling up those water bottles and for the um, stoves originally I just had and each one is is full with coal right now um, and the lava you can go downstairs again yeah, and I originally had this all filled in with stoves. Now we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's about the right amount for what I usually uh, end up doing, I find. And then I used black glass. I threw down some nether rack, lit it with a flint and steel. And I just like this better. It's just a nice fire and just this, um, the slabs. Pick up the slabs right here in the rest of the house. And then I just used... Uh, uh, red and white clay for the flooring. You could do anything you want. You could use wool. Um, you could use, uh, I mean, anything you want. I just kind of like this. You could use quartz too. I tried it, but um, the textures weren't right, and I'd rather save the quartz for other things, so I think the clay worked out nice. And plus, the red picks up the red in the walls. And I just did a checkered pattern. You could do any type of design, but I don't know. Checkered looks kind of traditional kitchen. And make sure, because the, the anvil and the cauldrons, uh, 
you can see the flooring underneath and also for the chest so make sure you carry that pattern through or else I, I don't know I think it's gonna look stupid so uh, that's what I did right there and for this I just wanted that so it looked more secure that's why I put stone right there and I just think it would look too um, if I carried the pattern there it would look kind of stupid so anyway that's my main kitchen area and that's it um maybe we'll go get a lava fill up a lava bucket right now so um we can go get this bucket right here and jump on the train and go get lava because again my house is completely functional so um you know what we'll save that because i want to surprise you with that so uh i change of plan so anyway like and subscribe it really motivates me to keep going and um show you more of my house and all these other cool things i'm constantly building i just love uh, i live for minecraft so uh to the detriment of my boyfriend and my service dog and my three cats no oh, no more time with us less minecraft so just balance in life so anyway i hope you enjoyed that phoenix